All right, folks, get ready for engines to roar and water to fly as boats reach NASCAR speeds on the Detroit River. The Chevy Detroit Hydro Fest is back. The historic races have been going on for more than 100 years. 7 Action News reporter Jennifer Ann Wilson shows us how crews are preparing today to be ready in case of an emergency. These hydroplanes are flying at up to 160 miles an hour, which means if something goes wrong, the people behind the wheel have to be able to get out as quickly as possible. So they practice doing that. And the crews out there on the water, they're practicing rescuing the drivers in case that should happen. Tango 3, this is Dive Master. Victim is in the water. Please approach and rescue. From the moment that call goes out, help is on the way. So we have uh, five different uh, rescue crews three inside the course and two downstream for the course. Each crew includes two medics and two divers. Knowing high speeds means high stakes. So for us, this is the worst case scenario. Today, one woman portrays a victim injured in open water while I join the team in the rescue boat speeding towards the injured victim. The divers step off. One will go to the head, one will go to the feet, and they will swim the victim over to the side of the boat. Keeping the victim stable is key, but not easy in the Detroit River. So each one of these divers needs to understand what it's like to be underwater in, in pretty fast current. She's secured to a stretcher in the water. Okay, as soon as you can, go ahead and get the straps. Then as a team, we lift the stretcher onto the boat. Okay, one, two, three. Supporting the neck and spine. That's the spine. Okay, looking good. And then once the, the victim is aboard, then our medics take over and the boat captain's responsibility is to get to the med dock. This drill is run all day long on the water while back on the shore. Engines, capsules, emergency exit hatches are carefully examined, all to ensure and prepare for the best possible outcomes for tomorrow's race. Inside this tiny cockpit with the driver, there is a canister of oxygen. So if something were to happen, if the boat flipped upside down, they'd have 30 minutes of air to give rescue crews time to get to them. In Detroit, I'm Jennifer Ann Wilson, 7 Action News. Yeah, they do great work. Jennifer Ann, thank you. And she's going to be live tomorrow morning during time trials interviewing hydroplane racers starting at 8 a.m. That does it for us tonight. Action News at 6 is up next.